An hour ago, a bomb blew up the Kremlin. The president has initiated ghost protocol. The entire IMF has been disavowed. Now I've been ordered to take you to Washington, where they will hang the Kremlin bombing on you and your team. Unless you were to escape after assaulting Brandt and me. But if any one of your team is caught, they will be branded terrorists out to incite global nuclear war. So what happens now? What the flick, everybody? Welcome to the show. Ben Mankiewicz, Alonzo Duraldi, Christy Too Tall Lemire. Look how tall I am now, standing on a box. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. I'll give away the secret. Uh, Matt Atchity. Christy has, we were talking about the Atlanta Jewish Film Festival. <laughs> Christy has never been to Atlanta. I don't know why. My hometown. Give I've that, never been. Give me that box back. I know, I need my box. You know, but it's, it's a lovely city. I look forward to seeing it. Go to the varsity, Is have a fried pie, okay. and some chili dog. <laughs> Overrated. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I've been to Alaska oh. and South Dakota, oh, my though. God. Who holds the Olympics? It's like holding the Olympics in Phoenix. Like, this is how we show off America <laughs> with Atlanta? Really? And, 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 come back about Atlanta. and here comes it's the fine. It's, it's the fine. City. It is the city too busy to hate. It's fine. <laughs> oh my God. All right. It's the, not the city too busy to build another mall. Uh, the I'll fourth, <laughs> the, uh, the uh, uh, Mission Impossible uh, Ghost Protocol uh, with Alonzo's new favorite line in the movie, which we'll get to. Um, <laughs> save it. Okay. Save it. Okay. Save it. Uh, Matt. So, uh, Ethan Hunt returns. He starts out the movie. Well, I don't want to ruin it. Basically, the plot of the movie is that the Kremlin gets blown up. Ethan and the rest of his group gets blamed. Exactly. And then the president, I'll let Alonzo do it. The president. What did he say? The president has initiated ghost protocol. <laughs> and, and, and so now they have to clear their names and clear the whole IMF and look for the happy ending. Let's watch the trailer. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. So, what's the play? Red? Dead. You're not going to make it! You're not helping. We were <laughs> into the trailer. We were nervous on the trailer. Right, oh, because we saw that in IMAX, and so it's, right. it, yeah. Please right. go you see know, it in IMAX. It please, is so and rad Please, go see it in, in real IMAX. Yeah, yeah. not this real AMC. IMAX. When he's, uh, uh, when he's scaling the building there in in Dubai mm. it was I was my palms were sweating mm. my stomach was queasy right. it was incredibly well this done. movie's Tense. awesome I yeah. you know yeah. I, let's first point out that this is the live-action debut of Brad Bird yeah. who yes. brought us the Incredibles and Ratatouille and the Iron Giant in fact there's a certain amount of the Incredibles in this movie I think. oh yeah um, I love this movie I thought he completely nailed it it's it's one, it ranks up with everything else Brad Bird has done. It's far and away the best movie of the franchise, Definitely. I, I think. I agree. It's super exciting, and it makes me think of one of the older James Bond movies in a really good way. These great action set pieces, they jump all over the globe. You don't really know why they're jumping all over the world, but it's okay, because they go to <laughs> yeah. these exotic locations. Now we're going and, to India. Exactly. Like, like, all right, yeah, right exactly. I can't remember why exactly. you're going to India, but 7 a.m. Dubai, like, oh, I guess they're in Dubai. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I totally missed why they were going to Dubai, completely. Right. But it was cool. You, uh, there's a scene there in Dubai. Uh, yeah. It's in the trailer. 
but. in the trailer, okay, the, you know, the, Tom Cruise chases a guy into a sandstorm, and then it becomes a car chase in a sandstorm, and eventually uh, the car, I don't even remember why now. Head-on collision. Yeah, head-on collision, the car like flips over, goes nose down into the ground like two feet behind Tom Cruise, and I jumped back, and I was like, oh yeah, that's what CG effects are supposed to do. They're supposed to make you believe that a real tangible thing is moving through space and is could potentially going to take somebody's right. head off. I mean, as Jeremy Renner is floating around this computer, right, on this magnet thing, like yes. he's floating around, and you think that he's going to get dropped and burned into the fan. Right? And you know, yeah, okay, I know it's all CGI. I know he's not actually there. He's on wires. And you're like, oh, oh, oh man. But think, but think of all the CG that we saw this year that was so airless and nebulous and this massive ones and zeros that didn't compute. Like, Zookeeper. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I'm going to get myself in trouble here. Hugo. All right. Hugo's very pretty. The Hugo is very pretty, and the 3D is lovely. But when that train goes rampaging yeah, through yeah. the station, yeah. I didn't buy it for a second. Mm -hmm. no, no, it, Did not have remotely the impact of that one stupid right. car I mean, landing behind Tom Cruise. The dust storm in Dubai, in right? Like <laughs> you know that that dust storm is completely CGI, yes. but you feel that. Like totally. you, you could practically yeah. taste the dust in the mouth. Yeah. And I, Tom Cruise runs a lot, which is always yes, fun. Which is yes. great. Now this mm. movie's fan, I, you know, <laughs> great performances all around. The sequences are great. You know, the opening part of the movie where Tom Cruise is in prison. Mm -hmm. And there's this prison and break, and, and as very sophisticated si computer very, generated right. as, breaking as, him out, right. not, not as, computer generated how we see it, but I right. mean, Simon Pegg's using the computer. Right, and as Simon Pegg is kind of like managing it, you yeah. see him on video, and they start to have this silent argument, you know, or at least Tom Cruise is silent, like open the door. through like, the cameras, and, right. yeah. and you know exactly what's happening, and there's no dialogue on Tom Cruise's part, and, and where everybody is in relation to everybody else, right. which a lot of action movies lose right. sight of, no, which is you, essential. Uh, I think that Brad no, Bird yeah, has point. really done a great job here and really I hope to see more great action you know live action from him because yeah. I think he's he's hit a home run here. Yeah, well, my, okay. no, Maya my you represents co-host Ignati didn't really like this so much and he thought it was too cartoony but that's what Brad Burr brings in a great way. I'm that's like I'm like A point. do you want Mission realism Impossible. in your Mission Impossible movie but B because Brad Bird has manipulated these beautiful animated films like I think that really serves him well here in terms of real life people. I also don't I mean you know he, he's not here to defend himself. That seems a particularly uh, uh, poor complaint about this. I could literally see being bored or it was just one thing after another or I didn't know why they were going certain places. But I mean, if if this is your definition of an action movie that was too cartoony, then literally thousands of action movies are off limits because this was not well, you that cartoony. Well, you have to be outlandish. No, no. It was yeah. cartoony no, in the good way, and right, sort right, of right, ignored yeah. physics. I, and, I mean, you know. it, it is Logic. completely yeah. over the top. I, I I can on a certain level, not that and I'm going to. That's gonna, the point. But in the good it way, is over the top, right? but in a good way, yeah. it yeah. totally works. It's it's complete. You know that sequence as we keep talking about the sequence with Tom Cruise playing Spider-Man basically oh. on, on the tower in Dubai <laughs> so is good. amazing, and it keeps you know as that you know that scene goes on for what five, six, ten minutes. And it keeps getting better yep. as every moment, and there's more and more at stake. And it, you know, as things go wrong for him in that sequence, it just gets that much more tense. It's amazing. And a lot of that is the use of sound, because a lot yeah. of that is the wind, especially because yeah, one right, of the windows yeah. is cracked open. It's his hand thumping on the glass, right. mm -hmm. or the um, glove falling apart, or whatever. So a lot of that's just the well, quiet of it. And I, and I have helpful. to say, the know, cutting of the glass, also, yeah. and all that stuff. You know, this really could have gone really badly. You know, we've seen some animation people jump into live action with mixed results. I think, you know, Tim Burton, for instance, is a fantastic director and has a beautiful visual eye, but sometimes the stories, sometimes the pacing... Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you get stuff, post -grad or something. Yeah, yeah, you know, sometimes you get stuff that's a little too worried about how things look and less about how the movie actually moves along. I think that and that's I, not happened here at all. Everybody else great. Jeremy Renner adds a, like, mm -hmm. a degree mm -hmm. of uh, substance as, as the sort of other guy in it, I thought. Uh, Simon Pegg is, is funny Scott. without being like too clowny, right. ridiculous. Didn't overdo it with Simon Pegg. Yeah. It's perfect. You need yeah. the, the comic relief because it does get so tense. He's perfect for that. The he's dryness perfect, yeah. of him is perfect And holy for that. crap, how hot is Paula Patton? So oh, hot. Man, come that, on. that one girl fight scene with her and the sexy yeah. French assassin, damn. No, no, like, Paula Patton is ferocious, yeah. and she mm -hmm. was good, and I got past mm -hmm. the how could someone this young and this beautiful be a seasoned veteran spy <laughs> handling whole <laughs> operations, but whatever, she was great. Does it matter? Did it help that scene in Dubai? Did it help that climbing scene when he's scaling the building? Does it help that we know that he did his own stunts? Like, does that, the marketing of that and letting us know that, does that make a difference? No. You know, I, I'm assuming there's a million safety wires that right. got erased in post that He's we didn't Cruise. see. You know, yeah. but I, you know, in the moment, I, I didn't even think about it. I, I was, I I was did, so I, fixated on. I was yeah, lost in, you I was know, lost in it. I, mean, I, I was lost in it too. But but yet, I thought it also helped, like sort of that it added to the sure. coolness of Tom Cruise. The authenticity yeah. of Tom yeah. Cruise. At no yes. point did I think 
did it occur to me that he's not actually in you know in any danger you know at, at no point as i'm watching it i'm thinking holy shit he's going to fall off that tank <laughs> yeah no, the whole do. time even though he's tom cruise, though he's tom cruise yeah. and you know he can't die yeah, right okay. as right. a sophisticated right. movie watcher and you I, know I, that tom cruise is not going to end up a red stain on the floor right. outside he, he showed up at the premiere you know right? like <laughs> but you know they're not going to kill off the character like that sure. either right and yet, at the you're very suspended. least, that would have leaked, and, right? And, <laughs> and I know, I know people who don't want to see this movie because they don't like Tom Cruise. But this is not the Tom Cruise who grins real big and tries to make you love him. This is like this Tom is Cruise actually Tom giving Cruise. a performance. You know, it's, it's movie star Tom Cruise, but it's not off-screen Tom Cruise who you're totally sick of. Like, How you, you know. a straight man for a lot of the other characters to be wild and weird and funny. But let's talk about the real quick before we wrap up this one, because I, I think that that his. The, this guy is a movie star, man. This guy is a movie star yeah, yeah. in this movie, and 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 uh, his sort of the 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 recovery, I think, is remarkable. That you the, obviously there are people who are still like I'm not seeing this Tom Cruise movie. I've managed to completely forget everything sort of nutty and weird and Oprah and couchy, and <laughs> and and you. This guy is good, and you know, you and I, we loved Night and Day. Like we I did. saw, I and I just think. I was thinking too. We saw Valkyrie together, and I, that was still too soon. Crazy Tom Cruise. That was too soon. Now it's been a while, right? I mean, especially that yeah. first totally all falls yeah, no, away. No, no, totally. And, and he very wisely lets this be an ensemble piece. Yeah, yeah. he doesn't get in anybody's way at any time. You know, very we were talking charming. about the opening sequence for Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I think this has a really interesting, fun mm -hmm. opening sequence. It does. Yes. That, you know, like tells you the know, story, right? Like, and kind of yeah. along the lines of the classic. James Bond, mm -hmm. you know, again, I, I like I keep the, uh, these, the opens matter. Yeah, I yeah, like that. That's it, good. Yeah, I thought it was really great. All right, let's give some high numbers to it. Thank Matt, you. why don't you start? Uh, it's one of the best things I've seen all year. I give it a nine. I think I'm not high enough. I'm going to say nine also, which is going to make you have to do your math again really fast. I'm really sorry. But okay. I like to see, see the it's box good. raises your scores. <laughs> Everything is higher now. No, yeah, uh, you're right. It's rad. It's nine. I nine. will vamp a bit. I am also a nine for the film. Yeah. All right, well, now I seem like a jackass. Again, because <laughs> I gave it an 8.1 because you raised it. Um, Sorry. You can raise yours, too. Yeah, it's all fine. fluid. All the cool kids are giving it a 9. <laughs> <laughs> they make, they make math Peer easy pressure. for yourself. Let's give it a 9, too. Just call it a 9. It's really good. It's exactly what you want it to be. Please see it in IMAX. Please. Yeah, it's in real IMAX, the yes. big four-story screen. Totally. Uh, all right. Uh, enjoy Mission Impossible.